Hey guys, what's up? Hold on. What's up, Jason here? <laughs> I had to make sure the camera was filming. Um, today is Monday. It's actually Labor Day. Uh, September 2nd, 2019. So, um, hope y'all are having a good Labor Day. Uh, barbecuing and stuff. I came home uh, from college for the weekend and had a pretty good time, honestly. Um, my little cousin stayed over the whole weekend with me, which was kind of unplanned, but it's alright. It was fun, and uh, did some cornmeal hunting, and actually did some metal detecting, and we'll get to that. Uh, I actually did it first, guys. I've been wanting to do it for a long time. <laughs> it's kind of funny it took me so long to do it, but anyway, let's get in this box. Oh, uh, before I get ahead of myself, um, I hope you guys did enjoy the uh, storm uploads. My mom did. Uh, that was from, I think, Monday morning. Uh, man, they had a hell of a storm come through here. Wish I was home to film that one raw, but, you yeah. know get the whole thing but she did pretty good she got the meat of it i think so or at least some of it 18 old jefferson's out of here um got a couple of shiny ones down here from the 60 i think that middle one's actually a 70 something there are some more but they're newer and they don't look great you know, they're shiny but they don't they got marks and shit so i'm throwing them back um odd finds canadian nickel newer one junk um We'll keep it. A shield penny actually made its way in the roll. And then they dime, so we made up for it and then some. So <laughs> take that. Um so every penny's followed by a dime in the rolls. And then guys, in the last twenty-five rolls of this box, we averaged two silvers per roll for the first like six rolls. And then um I don't know what my dad's talking about, but anyway, let's try and drown him out. Uh, and then we went a while without finding one, so, you know, about 19 rolls in, you know, to the end of the box, we stopped. And then about the fifth roll from the end, or sixth roll from the end, we found another one, so let's go through these real quick. We got a 42S, which you don't usually find 42 war nickels, 1942s, so that was pretty cool. I think the first war nickel I found was actually 42S. 43P, which would be expected, most common. 44P. And 45S. That's my phone going crazy over there. eBay stuff. Oh, gotta love it. Try to flip these. Yeah, you get them in a straight line over there. You want to work it up. Whatever. Alright, so there's your mint marks. S on the back of that 42. 43P. 44p 45s so that was a very good turnaround first half of that box was dead man um and then this buffalo if you guys remember the last crh video i had this buffalo nickel it was a dateless one nick it's actually 1920 which is okay i wasn't really too thrilled about that 1920s i got a shitload of it seems like i always find those why well, nicotate buffalo nickels are always 1920, but this one was better. It had an estimate mark on the back. You can see it down there. So, you know, in this condition, it's probably worth a buck or two, but, you know, pretty cool. So. No, that was not out of this recent box. Like I said, that was out of the last box. Uh, my parents got me. So, then we went metal detecting, guys. Went to this little park. And uh, in the little tot lot thing where they got the wood chips and shit, I found a spill of the zinc pennies. So, two zincs are there. And then I went around the edge of the park in the grass, just combing maybe like a six foot area, you know, um, a radius around the edge of the park, the sidewalk, and found that. Two copper pennies. This one actually came out of the volleyball court. It's a 68. The other one was by the shelter house. It's a dirty old one, but it's copper, so we'll save them. This, guys, my, probably what I consider my best find as far as, I don't know, this cool. My first American silver. Found two foreign silvers before I found this one. Crazy came out of that, uh, <clears throat> where I went around the sidewalk of the park. I was going along and just heard this beautiful little high tone, man. 
And I parted the grass roots and didn't even dig anything. I just got the pinpointer out and then I felt the edge of this coin. It was element, you know, flat. Picked it up, thought it was a zinc penny because I wouldn't really look at it. And then I got to look at it, it as a dime. Felt the reeds, you know. And then I thought, okay, it's a cloud dime. I hit it against my fingernail and I just heard that silver sound, boy. <laughs> Imagine I had a huge smile on my face. So, it's a 59 Rosie, but, uh, it's got some problems going on. It's got some scratches, but who gives a flip, man? It's taken me this long to find one. An American silver. On the back, it's got some issues. It's got a little scuff up here, and it's got a rim neck right there. So, very good, guys. I'm glad I found it. I'm going to end this video now, because I think my uncle just got here to see me before I leave. Um, but... Yeah, guys, I will keep you all updated on uh, what goes on, and um, I think it's going to be a lot of schools. So there might be a pretty good gap between uploads here, unless we get a storm or something, which looks very unlikely. Alright, guys, peace out. I hope you all enjoying the time we got here. You know, I'm just going to be kind of calm for a while, so, at least on my end, so, I'll keep you all posted on what goes on. Alright, guys, later.